All right, kiddo, you got all this stuff in your backpack, right? Because if you don't, we're not turning around. Mom. All right, everybody, I'm sorry about that, how you call it. Before I even got to do my intro, the game just started. Like, oh well. That's just the fun of it. Anywho, welcome back to Game Redan. So today we are going to be playing the... Not, fuck. So for today, we are going to be playing a mall near you. Um, fuck. Christ, again? So for this game, we are a child and our parents have forgot to stock up on holiday presents and we are stuck doing the chores. How would we handle this? I don't know. But it's giving me... What was that game again? Shoot. That game is going to kill me. For the rest of this gameplay, it's going to kill me since it's the back of my head. Anywho, without further ado, let's get started. We need a gift for the holidays and we got to return some items to afford it. Remember, the star plushy thing is gels, the t-shirt to warm subject and the sponge to the bathroom delights. Okay, I want you to remember I am not good at remembering, so that better be a list somewhere in the corner, otherwise I'm going to mess up this entire gameplay. I'll pick you up behind the cells. Try and get a good gift while you're in there, okay? Like that box of mac and cheese, that's a good gift? I mean, I honestly don't like mac and cheese, but I'm pretty sure somebody else would. The one with the famous Italian guy on it, Chef 4RD. <laughs> if I give it to your pops, he'll be really happy. Wow. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You're a big, brave kid. All right, see ya. Okay, good. You have a Z. Bye, mom. Mom just left me in the mall. Move WASD. Backpack is tap. Okay. Um, interact is E and Zoom is... Oh, okay. Okay, and I think I see a wanted poster. No ski mask allowed. Okay. Enter the mall? Why not? This mall is abandoned, isn't it? Like, there's nobody in here. For lease. Oh, shoot. Rental space. Is there any store opened? Jills. I don't know what I gotta return, but I'm pretty sure the game will let me know. Um, 30 for 60 everything. That's expensive for some plushies, to be honest. Sing it again. Tamagotchis. 30 to 60. Girl, you crazy. Alright. Wow. It showed up just a little bit before closing time. Alright. I should probably, like, do my job. Hey. Welcome to Jill's and stuff. You need any help? Yeah, I gotta return this. You wanna return? Right. Yeah. Here. I'll give you a fiver for this. Don't you gotta return the full refund? Or I can complain to corporate. I know how retail works. <laughs> All right, cool. One of these star-shaped sucky things. Yes, yeah, some kids claim these things start biting them. For real, though. You should probably hurry up and go home. It's getting late. Okay, off to the next star. <laughs> Clothes for the holiday. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Um. Hmm. Tropical dinner. A wild place to shop and eat. That actually sounds like a fun place to be, to be honest. What's this? Here's the vending machine. It got a bunch of really, really old snack bags in it. You don't recognize half the snacks you see here. And the ones you do recognize have logos that you've never seen. Do you want to buy a bag? Nope. For the time being, you decide not to buy a bag. Okie dokie. Restrooms are closed. Um, ooh, can I fish for money? What's that? The fountain's full of pretty still water. How long has it been since this thing cycled? Gross. It seems all the scattered coins have been picked clean here. No coins left except for one. A pretty obviously big coin sitting 
against the ridge of the spout. Too bad the water in the fountain is so wet or you can reach right in there and grab it. Can I grab it? Can I grab the coin? Kids, coin is calling me. Hey, uh... Oh, yeah, he'd be, be, he be getting them tips, all right? Oh, <laughs> all right? I don't understand a word you're saying. Yeah. Can I just buy a personal? He just gave this to you for free? It doesn't actually look that appetizing. Now that you're closer up to it, but free is free. You take the pretzel and wrapped it up for now. It'd be wrong to eat it here. Um, sir? Creeping me out. Okay, um, is he gonna run behind me now? What's this? Warm subject? Is this the version of Hot Topic? Oh, this is so the version of Hot Topic. This is hilarious. Looks like it's for closing, though. Alright, what's up? Yo, welcome to warm subject. You need something, bud? I gotta return this. A return, huh? Yeah, sure, no problem. It's just ten bucks back for it. What's this return here? Oh. <laughs> Someone got you the shirt, but you didn't want to hold on to it. Don't worry, I can relate. Honestly, kind of surprised someone gave you this. This girl's from a pretty obscure show. And it's not actually for kids. Okay, okay. The only good shirt I see here is going to be the Pink Floyd. Unless I'm wrong. I mean, it's kind of obvious to tell. Is this the shirt that I just returned? Is that a, a anime? Yeah, I think that's an anime. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, now to go up. What are up. you doing? Oh, I knew that. The Polar Express 2. Jack Frost. Sorry, we are closed. Poppy's Graveyard. Okay. I thought I heard something. Um, is this a store that I have to go to next? Oh, great. There's a... What is this? Furniture outlet. Oh! <gasps> T-Rex. This is a freaking sweet... You wish dinosaurs were real. Not really a T-Rex, though. But, um, that's pretty cool. Alright, suspicious looking dude. Hey there, sport. You know where you are now? The furniture outlet, an outlet for all your furniture needs. Like the moto, I came up with it myself. Can't wait to hear what corporate has to say about it. Baby eyes, shining smile. Silly me, though. I should be asking you what you need. What do you need, champ? Can I have that dinosaur? Oh, that? Sorry, amigo, but no can do. That girl there is the corn cornerstone of my store. She's the heart of this business. I can't even think of what my store would be without her. Yeah, but check this out. What'd I do? Oh my. You really knocked it out of the park with that one, hot shot. It's been a long time since I've seen a trick that's sick. As in cool, it really brings me back to my childhood. Can you show me how you do it? Yeah, for a price. That's a lot. I could give you for knowledge a new couch for your family, maybe? Dining table? He's willing to do that? Oh, how about a chair? You know, chairs are all the rage right now. How about it, Superstar? Dinosaur. <laughs> Done. It's that easy to get the dinosaur. I'm actually pretty happy. Except it tomorrow. Expect it tomorrow. Okay. Okay, did we just teach him how to double jump? Oh, he's glitching. Oh, he's glitching. Oh, he's going into the back rooms. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I taught you how to go to the back rooms. Thank you for the dinosaur, though. I really appreciate it. 
<laughs> my dinosaur. Um, if you're in the back rooms, make sure to keep your voice down and, and run. Just run for it, okay? I've been in the back rooms so many times throughout my gameplays. I'm sorry I had to teach you that trick, but a sacrifice must be made. And hello, you're sad. Why are you sad? Oh. Okay. Oh. Hello there, unusually tank turned child. I'm very sorry. I was just laminating my lack of large capital. Oh, I'm very rich. Yeah, no shit. So rich, in fact, that I can afford to stand up here all day and sulk. But that is not the issue. For you see, I'm terribly out of sorts. I journeyed far and wide for Bitcoin. And I found it right down there for Bitcoin. I got it. I got it. Only I can't get to it. Old and infirm as I am. And as full of water as the fountain is. Wet, wet water. If only a generous and kind individual could find a way to soak up all that water. Needless to say, I would be very, very happy man if you were to offer me that Bitcoin. Okay, so, uh, sponge. Got it. I'm actually kind of happy the fact that I got a freaking T-Rex. Though, um... Here we go. Hate water. Do it. With terrifying suction localized in the palm of your ball's fist, all of the fountain's water absorbs into your sponge. Now that's some sponge right there. Can I have it? You've done it. The water is all gone. And so is your sponge. Actually, not really. The water is still there. Your sponge is still there, too. They've just become one single thing. A wet sponge. It's really heavy. You go ahead and snatch up the big coin while you're at it. Yoink. Weird. The moment you picked it up, you feel a pair of wheezed old eyes on you. I know you want the coin, old geezer. Don't. Ah, oh, yeah, he's totally staring at me. I know, I know the upstairs is here. All right, here's your Bitcoin. Marvelously done, child. With the water in the fountain drained and Bitcoin retrieved, victory is in our grasp. Look how it shines even after having been abandoned in the water of the fountain for so long. It hasn't even collected any rest. Now your reward awaits if you hand me that delightful big piece of history. Sure, why not? Many thanks, my precious friend. Now to test the legitimate of this currency as his only professional can. No. No, don't tell me you're going to eat it. It's delicious. There is no dieting in now. This is the real deal indeed. As promised, here is your reward. A blank check from me to you. Don't spend it all in one place. Yes? Not that you could. I promise that no number you put on there would be enough to hurt me. <laughs> I am richer than most countries. As for me, this beautiful piece of history shall go right into my pocket. I can feel it unexpectedly weighed upon me already. And it broke. The big coin fell out of the old man's pocket. Take it. I must thank you again, my friend. This has truly been a red letter day. This wonderful news has completely offset the fact that my suit desperately needs mending. Quick, let's write all the money that we can get before he realizes that the coin fell off and let's cash it in before he realizes that and closes his account. Where's the, where's the checking account? Where's the checking account? I must cash in this blank check before he realizes that the coin fell out of his pocket. This is like a true heaven. This is like true heaven. Wait a minute. What if we spend the big coin on this? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hold on. Can I do it? Regardless of your choice, a bag of chalks pop out of the slot. <laughs> the vending machine is clearly out of fritz. Chalks. You're not familiar with the brand, but it advertises itself as the challenge stack. Hmm. Alrighty, so uh, where the hell do I go now? Did I win here? 
I don't think so. Bathroom Delights. Hey. Hey, uh, welcome to Bathroom Delights. Um, what's up? How can I help you? Your pack pack is soaking wet by the worry. I gotta return this. Oh, jeez. Um, hey, please don't squeeze that sponge, whatever you do. Uh, flood the store. Sorry, but if you're looking to return it, I can't take it. Not only is it used, it's not even from here. Really wish I could do more for you, but please put that thing away. It's dangerous, you know. So, uh, flood the store, right? Soap, soap, soap. Okay, so you're gonna say the thing. Okay, tab. Um, okay, so he says it's not even from here, neither. Um, well, we just screwed up. All right, let's talk to this janitor. Hey, you got it, don't you, kid? That thing, I can smell it from here. I might establish that I can do that. Doesn't matter if I didn't, but that's a real powerful tool you got in your hands there, kid. How about it? Give me the wet sponge. Promise I'll make it worth your while. Take it. Shucks, kid. Really made my day giving me that. Should be able to get all my work done from the night now. Here. This is for you, kid. A key. Should be able to open the gates of the arcade with that. Kids like arcades, right? Oh, hell yeah. I love the arcades. Where's the arcade? Now we're going to Sales, formerly known as Sears. And it's closing. No big surprise there. A bunch of brand macaroni and cheese boxes spread loosely on the table. Tony's Macaroni. A mildly successful attempt to use James Gonzo's likenesses to push packs of macaroni and make a mid-leaning successful gift. But the clerk is currently too asleep to sell it to you. Wake up. Oh, I cut up of a famous Hollywood actor, Brendan Frazier. Depicting the heroic Rick O'Connell from The Mummy, 1999. I don't remember. I think it was yeah. It's fair to say that his performance in that film was absolutely breakout. Your mom loves this movie and this man. Of course she does. I'd make her really happy. I'm sure it would. You love to ask the cashier about the price, but she seems to be asleep. Wake up. Wake up. Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah, can I help you? Are you, uh, trying to buy something? Closing up soon, so if you want any of this stuff, go ahead and, like, look at it and stuff. I did? So, like, oh yeah, Tony's Max, Tony's Macaroons, Tony's Macaroons, yeah, um, 15 bucks, sure. Where's the money? Huh? You're like a dollar off. Sorry, but I can't sell it to ya. Not even if you ask twice. Okay, and how about this? Oh, you want the Brendan cutout? Um, so like, that's not supposed to be for sale, but if you have a lot of money or something, maybe I could sell it to you. I had to be really goofy amount of money still, so um... Oh my god, goofy! Oh, what? Uh... Okay, fine. Yeah, sure. I'll take that check. And you can, yeah, yeah, it's yours. <laughs> Enjoy the black check while uh, my mom enjoys that uh, count out. Uh, yeah. Where's the arcade? I need, I'm a dollar short. Oh, here it is. It's still locked. Use the key to the janitor I gave you? Yes, sir. -oo. You wedge the key in the gates and violently praise the gates open, bursting it open for a harsh wire metallic boom. You feel confident about your child's strength. Now you can enter the arcade. Okie dokie. Now what game am I playing, huh? <gasps> the wig. Uncle will love this for his head. <laughs> it's quite greasy. Okay, I found a wig. <laughs> Damn, I have a lot of strength for a kid. Um, Don't see an arcade. I'm a dollar short. How about the trash? Whoa, what's this? It's one of those cool pet games, like the one from Jill's. The scream is broken and the sound is crackling. But it works, and your mom told you not to root around the trash. 
What does she know? All right, so I'm guessing I just have to ask her twice. She did say something about asking twice. All right, looks like I got amazing gifts here. Do you have enough? Yes, I do. Huh? Oh, sure, fine, all yours. And that was easy. Okay, are you done shopping here for this stuff? Because if all your business is done here and stuff, I'm going to go and close up. Like, the whole mall will close up too, probably. So, are you done shopping? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Really, last confirmation, the mall will close when you agree. Close it? Oh. Alright, am I trapped in an SCP now? Pretty sure this is like the nightmare of a child of going through the back. What's that noise? Oh, that's me. Okay. Hey, what are you doing here? Mm. Just leaving. Is that it? Oh no! Nine out of ten gifts! Oh, we were so close! Let me see here. We got the dinosaur. We got the cutout. A coin. I forgot what that is. A pretzel. I, I don't know what the last gift is, but um, I think I'm pretty happy with what we have here. Alright? It's... You know, it was. It was the spirit of giving. You know, it's not Christmas no more, but it was the spirit of giving. Anywho, that is a really fun game. I really liked it. That has been a mall near you. Remember, the game link is in the description down below. And as always, I hope you do enjoy this episode. I will definitely catch you in the next one. Catch you later, everyone.